Hello everybody. It is Wednesday. You might hear my air conditioning. I am really hot, so I haven't turned it down yet. Whenever I start reading the text, I'll turn it down. But as I'm talking to you here, I'm going to leave it run. Because I know you can still hear me. So it just has a little bit of a roar. But uh, we are here. Had to get some power in. Get some of my electrolytes back in me. Uh, we're going to read chapter 4 of Acts uh, for our daily Bible reading. So, uh, sorry if I touch my face a lot. I, I just feel all tacky from all the sweat from being outside all day. Uh, and it kind of itches, to be honest. Air conditioning blowing on it. But, uh, it's probably from all those perfume bombs. Everybody always wants to stand behind my fan at work. And I, it, it chokes off the air whenever you do that to somebody but it also blows whatever kind of scent their body has right directly in my face. So, we got perfume bombs, got BO bombs. But just right directly behind a fan at somebody's desk is not the best place to stand. But anyways, let's get into chapter four. All right, get ready to read, so we'll turn it down. All right, two notches. That should be pretty good. Peter and John are arrested. And as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them. Being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. Peter's sermon to the council. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you hold. This is the stone which was set at naught of your builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any form, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Hmm. Once again. Jesus Christ has said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father but through me. And he's also said, I and the Father are one. Hmm. Once again, let's see where we were at. I might have lost my space a little bit. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved now when they saw the boldness of peter and john and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with jesus and beholding the man which was healed standing with them they could say nothing against it but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves saying what shall we do to these men for that indeed a notable or a notable miracle hath been done by him is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it, but it but that it spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them. Why are you always gotta threaten people, man? that they speak henceforth to no man in his in this name. Peter and John must speak, and they called them and commanded them not to speak 
at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was shewed. A prayer for boldness. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which hast made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. Who by the mouth of the servant David has said, why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child, Jesus whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done, and now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto my, thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which possessed, were, which he possessed, was his own. But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were, uh, were for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. And jo Joseph, or Hoses, who by apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite. In the country and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Chapter 4. All right. We have went through chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. Tomorrow will be chapter 5. It is Wednesday, the 30th of June. So tomorrow starts July. Uh, and we'll be on chapter 5. But uh, I'll go ahead and pray. Uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. And Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us, Lord. Watch over us, Lord. Be with us, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to come home another day after work today, Lord. Be with my family, Lord. Continue to be with Dad. Continue to strengthen him. I allow him to get the results he needs from his CT scan he had yesterday, Lord. As uh, far as I know, he has not received those results yet. But be with mom. She was not able to do her infusion yesterday, Lord. So whatever needed to be done, she had to do some blood work instead. And they rescheduled her, Lord. But be with her and watch over her and always protect her, Lord. Lord, we pray for my nieces and my nephew, Lord. Watch over them and always give everything they need to them, Lord. We love you. Be with my sisters and my brother-in-laws, Lord. That we all just continue to stay close and to always be close, Lord. Be family. That they will always become strive to be closer to you, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings, Lord. We pray today, Lord, for our country. Things are starting to slowly come out about things that have happened over the course of the last year to two years to four years, Lord, about things that have gone on in this country and things that have been done. But this country needs you more than it really has needed you in a really long time. You've got those behind the scenes fighting to try to change us from the ground up and everything that we were founded for and 
the, the beliefs that we are founded on for you, Lord, to where we could have freedom to be able to worship you, Lord. So please watch over our country and please do your works in this country, Lord, and bring about what you need to bring about, Lord. We have, a lot of us have read the books of Revelation and done studies on them, Lord. We know what has to come and what has to go. We don't know the day, we don't know the time, but we know it has to come about, Lord. But it doesn't mean we stop striving to do better, Lord. And as a country, I think we need to do better, Lord. I love you, Lord. I thank you for everything. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. And amen. See you all tomorrow.